Hello, I'm Gráinne Hamilton from the JISC Regional Support Centre Scotland South and West. I'm here with Neil McPherson, um, who's a lecturer in sociology at the University of West of Scotland. Uh, Neil will be talking about his experience of using a variety of e-assessment tools um, and Web2 tools for formative and summative assessment. Hi Neil. Hi Gráinne. Um, can you tell us about uh, the role um, that you have here at the University of West of Scotland, please? Well, my prime role is I'm a lecturer in sociology within the School of Social Sciences at the University of West of Scotland. I'm based at Hamilton Campus. Uh, UWS is a multi-campus institution and I'm located at Hamilton Campus. Okay. Um, you use a variety of technologies uh, with your students um, for both formative and summative assessments. Um, can you tell, tell me why you decided to use those technologies? Well, it's very focused on developing the student experience of, of learning uh, in the social sciences and particularly on my modules. So I decided that it would be a good way uh, to, to embrace the, the students in terms of their own learning and to engage the students in terms of their own learning by embedding uh, e-learning technologies and e-assessment technologies in the modular programme. Great. Um, did you count, encounter any barriers to the to using the choice of uh, tools you wanted to use? Um, at an institutional level, there weren't any barriers in terms of actually using the tools, uh, in terms of, 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 of being able to use the tools. But in terms of training, in terms of engagement with other members of staff, sometimes there can be barriers that arise. Okay, and, and what precise tools have you been using? Uh, I've been using uh, audience response systems, Turning turn Point in particular. I've been using Turnitin, mm -hmm. uh, originality checking, plagiarism detection software. Uh, and I've also recently been using Assessment 21's Assessment by Computer software. Okay, could you tell me a bit more about Assessment 21? Uh, Assessment 21 ABC, as it's called, Assessment by Computer, is a tool that allows both formative and summative assessment online. And the reason I started to use it was because I wanted to, to help students develop in their, uh, their own learning experience at their own pace. So I located it as, a, as an e-teaching and an e-learning tool within the syllabus. And I also used it for the final high stakes exam at the end of the year. Okay, great. Um, and what were the benefits of using those over um, say methods you'd used previously? Well the benefits were I used it to employ in the seminar classes a sort of just-in-time teaching approach. Okay. So we delivered uh, multiple choice, pr primarily in the, in the class we, we delivered multiple choice questions to the students and they would start off the seminar by going through those questions answering and getting feedback that I prepared mm -hmm. at the end of the, the assessment. Then we would discuss the areas that they weren't so strong in. Okay, um, and did you feel that there were significant um, benefits uh, to, to marks or to how students sort of engaged with your um, classes as a result of I think st students, firstly, the students were very comfortable using the technology. There, there was very, very little instruction required for the mm -hmm. students to engage with technology. Uh, following that, the students were much more competitive in terms of, uh, with each other, and much more engaged in the learning process, uh, much more prepared before they came to classes because they knew that this was happening at the start. But also, the, they were happy that they were going to get the feedback directly there and then about the, the things they didn't understand, uh, and the things that they understood could be dealt with in slightly less context. Great. Um, and were there any benefits um, for you? For me, student engagement, I think, mm -hmm. was definitely a benefit. I think the students engaged well with the technology and were much more prepared, as I say. Uh, in terms of feedback, as a reflective uh, practitioner myself, uh, I really welcome the feedback that it gives me and lets me know where I have to develop in lectures in terms of getting the material across to the students. Okay, lovely. Um, how do you uh, see your use of this developing in the future? Are you keen to continue using it? Um, at, the, at the present, I'm using uh, Assessment 21's tool for multiple choice and slotted questions. The potential is there to extend that into short answer questions. There's a component within the software that allows you to do a variety of things with short answer questions. It's also a very good tool for, for, for uh, allowing the students to develop. So using it as a formative tool and as a summative tool within the, uh, maybe not all my modules but many of my modules is, is what I'm looking at in the future. Okay, and if anyone else was looking to, to implement this, um, do you have any tips? Go for it. Mm -hmm. I think it really works. I think it's really, uh, really beneficial to the students. I think it's really beneficial to the lecturer in terms of the feedback and also the practicalities in terms of marking the, the final summative exam. We had the first uh, summative exam last week on campus at Hamilton. We had 80 
two students over six labs. Um, we invigilated each lab individually, but we also had a central invigilation point. The exam lasted for two hours, and within two hours, the exam was marked, moderated, and the marks entered in the student information system. Great. And and have students um, responded well to that? Well, students haven't had the final marks back from the summative right. mark, but in terms of the, the formative assessments, where they get feedback directly mm-hmm. uh, there and then, as soon as they finish the, the assessment, they click on the end assessment button and the feedback is given to them directly. So we, we set up so that work on this in the seminar classes, but we also set up other uh, formative assessments that they can do at home in their own time and we ac- access that through the blackboard. Great, really. great. Uh, and are there any other um, technologies as well that you're, you're looking to use or are currently using for formative or summative assessment? Um, I'm using Turnitin at the moment and I think uh, my colleague Joel was going to speak about more about that mm-hmm. uh, shortly, but uh, Turnitin is one of the m- most powerful tools I think that we can put in the hands of students. I think it's very beneficial to students and also gives the institution greater security that the students are actually engaging with material in the appropriate ways. Uh, turn it in, uh, the sorry, Turning Point Audience Response System is another, another one. This year, actually, because of the increased intake of students, we doubled the intake of students, and in my module, had, I, gone from, I went from 40 students to 90 students. Mm-hmm. Uh, that meant that I couldn't use the Audience Response System just because we didn't have enough uh, s- uh, quicker uh, tools and also just the practicalities of handing them out and collecting them at the end of class. That was where Assessment 21 stepped in mm-hmm. to, to allow me to, to use that type of formative assessment. Although in the future, I will be also be using Turning Point Audience Response Systems in the classroom as well as Assessment 21 you see, hopefully. Right, great. Um, and how is it you're using um, Turnitin? I'm using Turnitin as a, a, a system that allows the students to check the material before they put in their final submission. Check it for plagiarism, check it for mistakes uh, and, and direct quotations. Also check to make sure that the paraphrasing is appropriate. Uh, we allow the students to upload it, uh, a version or, or maybe a, a second version, and that allows them to check the material before they finalise their, their essay mm-hmm. and then upload it for marking through a great mark and turn in. Lovely. Um, great. Well, I think that's all we have time for today. Um, thank you very much for speaking with us. Okay, thank you.